I am about to head to a car appointment because my tires need to be rotated and reinflated. So I'm going to head to Costco because they are Costco tires and they do it for free. Give me the keys. It's about that time again, yes sir. Shout out to uh, Will. It's about that time again. So one of the things that I came here for was a tire rotation and in in uh, what do you call it inflate my reinflate my tires with nitrogen because supposedly that's better than actual air. They told me that they shouldn't rotate the tire because uh, I it, it is it didn't hit enough miles yet on my car and they kept it for a reason uh, at that mile range that they told me to come into. I came in like 3,000 miles earlier than I should have because I was trying to be proactive and uh, yeah, they, they said they can't, they shouldn't do anything because it is uneven right now and in order to keep it like this or keep it as even as possible, they highly recommend me to not do the tire rotation. So basically came here for like half the stuff, but still got some treats, Rice Krispie treats and uh, some supplements. So not too bad of uh, a trip down here because it usually takes me 30 minutes from my house so it takes a minute for me to just drive down here. I think I'm gonna grab something to drink. There's this place in Utah, I think specifically in Utah. I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. They mix up sodas and they mix up different flavoring with what, with what they have. You know like that magic coca-cola soda machine that sometimes the theaters have? It's like that but a lot more intricate with it. Let me just take you guys there. So I'm at the drive-thru right now. I actually have it at a pickup because I ordered it through an app and uh, now I'm just waiting in line essentially. But this is the menu. It's called Fizz, right? This is the, that's the company's name or shop's name. And it's a chain, a drink shop that's all around Utah. This is the only place that I've seen it in Utah. So. It's basically like a bunch of smoothies, bunch of flavored waters and things like that, sodas, and they mix everything together. And it looks scrumptious, right, that? But I'm just trying to get <coughs> something like that. That's a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but yeah, it's like something lighter, right? Just like a lemonade kind of thing. And uh, hopefully it tastes pretty good because there's like a bunch of mixtures and a bunch of recipes that they personally have. So. I'm just testing one out and I don't even remember what I ordered, so hopefully it's good. I ordered a pretty large ass serving mainly because the app that I used, it had a promo code of like $5 and this thing actually cost it almost five bucks because it has monster in it. And uh, let me just see what I exactly got. This Zippy Zen is, is made with guava, pineapple, cucumber, pear, and fresh lemon. And that's what's in there. And this is, so it has all this flavoring stuff, right? I don't even know if it's actually fruit juice or vegetable juice. I don't even know. But it also has Monster in it. And it has sugar-free Monster. And you could basically add this a bunch of crap into it, right? And a bunch of flavoring and stuff. But I just kept it with that. And I asked them to put extra Monster. And hopefully this tastes good. So taste test. Okay. Oh my god. This shit is good. This thing definitely has regular sugar in it. Because I cannot imagine it tasting this good with artificial sweeteners. Because artificial sweeteners do not taste like this. It's probably like 300 calories in this. Oh well. Bulk season, bro! And I probably forgot to transition it correctly because I did this in the previous location, which is at Costco's parking lot, and I forgot to do this again. So, what the heck? Sick. I I'm the best YouTuber in the freaking world, dude. Sick, dude. Back at home now. It's been actually a couple of hours. One of the topics I do want to talk about is a little bit about myself and my future endeavors with this channel and what I'm trying to do as of right now. One of the reasons why I want to reintroduce myself is because the past three years worth of videos, 
I do not have them up anymore. So it is pertinent for me to reintroduce myself so then people will understand what the channel is about and stuff like that. So here's a summary of who I am. I am 25 years old, currently living in Utah right now. I graduated with a bachelor's in management and a minor in Chinese. What I'm trying to strive for is talking more about personal finance, fitness, because those two things are really big with me. I really enjoy talking about those two things, mainly because I struggled a lot with my fitness when I in my early years in my childhood and also finances because I think I do a pretty good job with my personal finance. So I think it is helpful for a lot of young people, young bucks my age, millennials my age to understand that I don't come from like a super, I don't have a wealthy job, right? I don't have a job that produces a lot of income per se, and that's relative, but I'm not a millionaire. I'm just like a normal person working a nine to five job in the essence of things. After I graduated at 21, I moved to Japan for two years and lived there. And that was super great. So I have a little bit of overseas living experience. In addition to that, while I was living in Japan, I actually bought my first house in Chicago while I was living in Japan. I bought it as a rental property and currently I still have that property and still making money with it also covering the mortgage so I'm actually pocketing some money off of it and that's what I mean by when I said making money off of it and on top of that that property now is worth more than I actually bought it for and renovated it so uh, super dope I'm ma I made money on paper when I did buy the property I was 23 I'm currently 25 so I have had that property for two years now it is managed by my family my parents because it is legitimately three houses down from where my parents live. And so I'm super grateful and I have the luxury of having parents that are, that are able and willing to do it for essentially no cost at all. So that's just a luxury that I have. I know a lot of people don't have that, but I'm just here to be a little bit transparent and to show you that that's like a very good situation right now. I lucked out on that situation. And with that being said, with that property that I had for two years, I found that it is a very good investment. Real estate in itself has been a really good investment in terms of the finance piece. So I'm looking into buying a second property. I am not sure if I'm gonna buy it in Chicago, here in Utah or somewhere else where I'm wanting to live. But as of right now, I've been saving up for my second property and I'm hoping it would either cover the mortgage and break even or give me additional income like it, like my first property. Besides all that real estate talk, I actually have some side hustles that give me additional income as well. And those side hustles, they're, they don't make as much as the rental income, but it gives me personally more fulfillment with my free time. Those side hustles have given me income slowly, but within the past year, it's started generating income. So it gives me around 200 to $500 per month. And just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I'm not telling you all these things because I wanna flex. That's not the purpose of it. If I wanted to flex, I could have I could have done something more extravagant. And so that's not the purpose. And if you think that's what I'm trying to do, then I think you just have a negative thought or negative connotation for whatever reason it is. Um, but th that's your personal prerogative. But regardless of what you think, I personally think I'm just doing this. I am saying all this because that is part of me. That's part of a person who I am. I manage my money well, and I choose to spend my free time that way, and it has paid dividends like I have just told you. So it's, it's not to show off or anything. It is to show you that it is possible for someone with a relatively young age, I'm 25, and still be able to not only keep a nine to five job, a relative nine to five job, right? A steady job and also build additional income sources and also invest in real estate at a young age. It is all possible if you can manage your money well. And that is one of the main purposes of my channel and what I'm striving to do 
in the future. With that being said, that's one of the main themes I want to go forward with my channel. From now on, I want to talk a little bit more into the personal finance stuff because I think I do pretty well with it. I think I manage it pretty well. And I am young. And surprisingly, a lot of people, when they ask me on what I do with my money and stuff, they, they expect that I, I'm like splurging it on random sh that I don't need. And sometimes I do. I'm still like a kid at heart, right? I, I enjoy nice things. I enjoy luxuries and I enjoy... I enjoy cool stuff and dope stuff, but at the same time, I also see money a little bit differently than many of the people that I have talked to. I tend to save a lot more than a lot of people my age. I think I just set myself up with the help of a lot of people to have what I have today. So I just wanted to share that so I could help other people achieve something similar or at least achieve a little bit better financial life than they have right now. And that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you and appreciate you guys for sticking along for those who are or have been sticking along because my channel has been changing over uh, a period of time. And for most of you guys who do know a little bit about me or who have been following, you know that it's a little bit more than that in in terms of just like talking about finance I, i'll probably talk about random crap like i just did with this video that i spent four minutes talking about drinks and uh, going to costco but i appreciate you guys for sticking along and be sure to like and smash that thumbs up button because it really helps out the channel and i'm basically rebuilding it essentially so it'll it's it's freaking dope if you do that in addition to that to all my subscribers out there, there will be giveaways in the future of my videos. And you just have to be subscribed to my channel and comment on my videos and also like it because if you're doing all that anyway, so why, why not just throw in a like and then I'll give away some stuff to you guys just to show my appreciation. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you later, dude. Yeah, you're so hot like